Hello everyone, welcome to episode 9 of the Idle Game Maker tutorial series. In this one we are going to talk all about upgrades. So, upgrades are things you can purchase with resources and they usually confer passive boosts using the passive effect. And an upgrade's effects only kick in when you own it, right? And of course they are declared in their own section, so the upgrade section. Now, with upgrades overviewed, let's learn a little bit about how to add functionality into your upgrades. So, in order to make upgrades functional, you need to attach effects to the passive effect type in the upgrade. And this is a little bit of my mistake because I forgot to mention that you can attach effects to effect types in episode 5. Now, all effects are usable with effect types. For example, the passive effect type, on tick effect type, on earn effect type, etc. are listed near the bottom of the handbook. So, I will show you this right now. So, once you're in the handbook, all you gotta do is scroll almost all the way down on the sidebar here and here we can see the effects and this is a list of all the effects that we can use with effect types so we can use all of these effects with for example on tick passive on earn on lose etc etc so if we wanted an upgrade to multiply yield of our building by two for example all you would write in the upgrade is passive multiply yield of my building's thing key by two so yeah that's pretty simple hopefully that's understandable you can do plenty of other things as well it's definitely worth reading about a little bit experimenting a little bit and definitely you can do some crazy stuff with this and i feel like it's a pretty important to mention that you can actually add multiple effect types into your upgrade as well so for example you can have 10 passive effects in your upgrade and you could just make it go crazy right so there are definitely loads of crazy possible things to do with the system so let's talk about the various uses of upgrades in idle game maker so they can be used as hidden boosting systems that multiply production based on an amount of a resource and this is actually very very useful i have used this definitely multiple times in my games they can also be used as various production multipliers and as shiny spawners now for a little bit of context shinies are a little something like the golden cookie in cookie clicker and if you haven't played cookie clicker you might not know what i'm talking about so basically it's just a little pop-up that occasionally spawns on your screen lingers around for a bit and then disappears and if you manage to click it you can get a lot of fancy bonuses now they can also be used to increase building amounts, to grant other upgrades, to grant resources, to lower costs and much much more. So that should be pretty much it about upgrades and now comes your optional challenge. So your tasks for this challenge are to add an upgrade to the game, give it a name and a description, describe what it does in the description, make it multiply the yield of your building by 2 and make it cost 6 times the price of your building. So give that a go, pause the video and if you are stuck I will give you 3 hints that should help you with this challenge and I will also show you a solution as to how I would do it after that. So if you are stuck here's the first hint. Make sure to declare a new upgrade in the upgrade section. If you are still stuck, here's the second hint. Make sure to attach a passive effect type to the upgrade and append the multiply effect to it. For this, you need to use the handbook. And for your third hint, if you are still stuck, add the cost x property into your upgrade. Alright, hopefully you gave that a go. Let me know how it went in the comments. And now let's move on to the solution. So, we want to add an upgrade into our game. So, let's begin by adding the upgrade section. Then let's give it a thinky i'm gonna give my upgrade the thinky magnet i feel like it's gotta make sense with the metal detector building that we have going on right now so let's give it a name magnet and let's have the description be something a little bit more humorous so coins are metal magnets attract metallic things genius idea there we go now next up we need to add the passive effect that multiplies the yield of our building by two so multiply yield of metal detectors by two and we just need our cost so our metal detectors cost 40 coins we need to have it cost six times that amount so 240 coins we go and that should be basically it let's save our changes and let's get into our game let's see if we have our upgrade in the game there we go now we're gonna add an icon to this later on now i actually forgot to add information that actually tells you what it does so let's quickly do that right now let's just have it say multiplies multiplies the production of metal detectors detectors by two there we go so that the player knows what they're actually buying right and there we go so now once we buy it our production per second should increase to eight per second and there we go so now we're getting two per second for each metal detector all right and honestly that should be pretty much it 
for this tutorial episode. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you found this tutorial useful. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe so you don't miss any future tutorials. And if you really enjoy what I do here, feel free to check out my Patreon. Link is in the description. And for only $2 a month, I can shout you out at the end of my videos. Alright, that's all I have to say and I'll see you in the next one.